Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Max Center for the 2017 Beauty and the Beast. Jacob Pavlak, Nicole Eastman, and Matt Miller here with you. Now let's head right to the highlights. Nicole, in the gymnastics competition, just your overall thoughts on how Kent State performed today in all four events. Yeah, you know, on vault, I think they had a really solid performance. Uh, everyone went up there, did their job, and they had a really nice overall score. Uh, bars, you saw a few really nice routines. Brooke Timko with a beautiful routine. Uh, Michaela Romito with a beautiful routine. The Flashes had a wonderful performance on beam. Jordan Hardison with a really solid, solid beam routine. Uh, floor was great again. They're amazing on floor. There's so much energy. All of them went out there and did their job, and they had a nice overall score on floor as well. The Mid-American Conference. Skyly's first pass here, round off, back handspring, double pike. Very nice for this first pass. Last pass coming up will be a round up, a handspring, double tuck. I think there was a dab in there too. She, she did, she <laughs> added that in when that was like a popular thing. Cam Newton. The hardest skills you can do. Rachel's second pass here. Round of back handspring, double pike, done easily. It's going to be a round off back handspring, two and a half, front layout. Done easily today, so nice. It's going to be a very big score for Rachel. And Matt, today the Kent State wrestling team taking on the number one ranked team in the country, Oklahoma State. They had some bright spots, especially from Casey Sparkman. Yeah, Casey Sparkman with a, a great, uh, very impressive win, uh, several takedowns. You know, the biggest thing for him, he was winning 9-5 to five with 20 seconds left. And instead of just staying back, he went and got that last takedown of something Coach Anderson talked about. The Oklahoma State wrestlers, they wrestle the whole time they're trying to score. Sparkman impressive. And then Steven Suglio, a nice win at 197. He's kind of getting on a roll here at the right time as we head towards the end of the season with the Mid-American Conference Championships a month away. So credit to Suglio, Sparkman, great job today. And as Coach Anderson mentioned, more of a rebuilding year this year for Kent State Wrestling, but they've played some very big teams here at the Mac Center. Ohio State earlier this year, the number three team. Oklahoma State, the number one team. Now, what do you take away from that on how that will make Kent State better in the future? Yeah, like he, you know, like Coach said, he's not afraid to wrestle anybody. He'll, he'll, he'll invite anybody if they want to wrestle. He's not turning teams down. It's only going to make them better. They don't have very many upperclassmen. So in two, three years, you're really going to see a, an experienced Kent State wrestling team. That wraps up our coverage of the 2017 Beauty and the Beast. For Nicole Eastman and Matt Miller, I'm Jacob Pavlak signing off here on Golden Flashes TV.